So this is how to set up the X20S using a UU motor uh, SBD 4850 amp. You can also use the 30 amp for this application. They just sent me the wrong one, which is actually more powerful. So what, I'll start with the power. I've got my 24 volts coming in to power the motor controller here where it says power. Then you just plug in each motor into each side and they only plug in one way. For my receiver, I'm using a TDR10, and just to make it simple, I got channel one going to P1, channel two to P2, and three to P3. So I've mapped the gimbal to um, left, right, forward, back, and this is just, I'm not doing uh, a mechano mix at this point, I'm just getting them to roll. And then I've mapped this switch to my run and kill switch. So that's channel three, and this is one and two on this gimbal. All right, so to configure it, what you wanna do is plug in your USB cable to the port on the motor controller. I don't think it matters which one, but I've always used this one and it's works, so I'm gonna go with what works. And then you simply open the port, uh, pick an appropriate one, this just says USB serial, and that's what you want. Once it connects, you're going to see two green, and then you'll see the status of the motor stop, stop. So board parameters, we'll just walk through each one. Uh, baud rate, 15 to, uh, I chose PWM input. It, I think it's it defaults to RS-232. If you have RS-232, these little uh, sliders and that rocket and stop will run the motor from the panel here. But I wanted to run it from my transmitter. So select PW input, and the important thing is you have to hit right setting. So that writes it to the motors. Um, voltage, max, 46, and these are kind of um, defaults you can leave. Dual motor, this is important. If you have single motor, only one of your motors is going to work. And I think if you have dual motor and you only plug one motor in, it will only, it'll, I think it'll only work in one port. It won't work in the other port. So two motors. Plugged in, two motors uh, selected, uh, some voltages, motor power up enable. What that means is when I turn the system on, the motor is disabled and uh, you can choose enable, but I'm going to enable the motor by using this uh, toggle switch on my remote. And that's pretty much all I changed there. For the PWM inputs, I'm gonna use this as motor run enable. Oh, let me start with one. So two motor speed forward and reverse. And you can see you can have all these different choices, but that's the one that makes the motors run forward and forward and backward and backwards. And then for the channel two, that's kind of motor speed. Oh, that's different. Interesting. This says motor speed difference. So let me enable this. So now the status goes to running. And now when I move forward on my stick, they both move forward. When I move back, they both move back. When I turn, all right, so that's exactly what I want. Um, so I can drive the, the, the droid around and turn him and uh, just, And when they stop, they kind of, there's a little slop in there. I'm not quite sure how to take that out yet, but they, they stop and they don't roll anymore. So yeah, motor speed difference seems to be a good uh, setting for the turns. And then uh, PPM3, that's my kill switch, motor run enable. And to work any of these, you basically, just like uh, calibrating a servo, you can see you hit start test, and it says value 2012. If I go to the bottom, it's 1015. If I go to the middle, it's 1484, uh, 1485, 14, somewhere in there. Anyway, you just transpose those values up into the min, max, and the dead zone here is how precise you have to be. Uh, 10 microseconds, 20 microseconds is if you're having a, a noisy transmitter that's not quite settling down, that'll work. Um, motor, the throttle brake, 
Um, I'm going to try changing this to 50 amps since it's a 50 amp controller. Let's see if that tightens up my uh, brake force max. These, this, they were 50 when I started, and uh, let's see what that does. Oh, anytime you change anything, you have to go stop and then back to run because anytime you write, it stops the motors. So. It doesn't really seem to change its sloppiness, but it's definitely not turning once it hits that, that stop. Um, motor settings, general. This is where you're going to have to go through. Um, and these first three values, you can actually test those from the motor. So you go to motor identify, click on it, hit start. You hear that beep? All right, so what it did is it did some kind of resonance testing and it came up with those values. And you can simply hit apply. And now you can do the same thing on motor two and it'll come up with those values from the motor. And kind of run. So the same kind of routines where it's doing some kind of resonance, hit apply. You only have to do this once. And after you do it, the important thing is you have to run a hull calibration test. So, and you can see that it mapped those two things out and let the test complete and it will automatically uh, save that to the motors. Motion parameters, speed mode and I kind of left this as all as, as the defaults, and I didn't have to mess with any of the PID parameters either. So at the end of the day, just write, make sure everything made it over to the motor. And for the transmitter, it's kind of basic setup, uh, model, mixes. So one is the throttle, so I'll hit edit. And as we scroll down, you can see it's just drive forward, reverse is what I have always on. Throttle is the source, and that, this is the, the, the throttle. And output, channel one, drive forward, reverse. And then uh, for channel two, edit. It's kind of the same thing. But what we have down the bottom is uh, channel two drive turn and it's mapped to left and right. And for the last one, just for completion, I'll go to channel three. It says strafe here. Don't, don't look directly into the, the labels because I haven't changed it from my traditional B2. Um, it's just this, oops, that's not even it. down here somewhere. Oh, here it is. It's channel three, and uh, I had some different modes enabled, so that is just uh, low to high. And I did reverse it, because I like it with, uh, this being on and that being off, so I, I reverse that. Anyway, that's the line share of it. Uh, hopefully, you got over any setup questions you may have had. It took me an afternoon to figure this out myself, but the motors are nice and smooth, and uh, I think they'll be a, a really good addition to B2 or any droid you want to put these in.